I'm back again. So, I have my cup with my coffee. And I thought I'd do like a little mini history thing. Fun, I, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of a working title for what I could call these. I was thinking history fun with Finn or history fun with Fanula. Depends. Tell me which one you prefer. Down in the comments. You guys should vote, you know, because uh, voting kicks ass, right? Yeah! So today we're going to do a little mini one. It's just, I was going through Facebook on this kind of Irish photography page and I came across a story about Rathmore moving bog of 1896 and so I thought I'd do a little mini video on it because I'd never heard of it before. It's in Kerry, my nana, her family from Kerry, so I thought I'd just, yeah, shine a little bit of a light on Kerry for a few minutes. One second, the tumble dryer is going. I'm back. I don't know what I was saying now. This video will be on the Rathmore moving bog of 1896. So the events that took place were in the southwest of Ireland in Kerry and the event has been described as a moving bog, a landslide and a bog slide. So Rathmore was a poor and very sparsely populated area and it's 20 miles east of Killarney and Killarney is beautiful. I put some pictures in my space. I am more to do it from this angle because you can see my bookshelves and you can see Louis. My pal. He's not my pal but I want him to be my pal so there he is. I have a picture, Kalani. <laughs> On the night of Sunday the 28th of December 1896 after a prolonged period of bad weather sleeping families in the area were awoken by a loud noise. It was reported some people thought it was like a thunder, a very loud banging sort of noise, but enough that you would wake up, like the whole house woke up. Yeah. So when daylight occurred, they went out to go and have a look and see if they could work out what the noise was. Obviously they didn't have like electric street lighting and stuff like that. But they went out and realised over 200 acres of bog had begun sliding in a southerly direction towards where they were and it was wiping out everything that was before it. So it was taking all the houses, all cattle, everything, it was taking it in its path. So there were heavy rains for a few days before the event. It was reported that turf in the area, like the actual floor, was being cut away by farmers and they expected something along these lines to happen. They just weren't sure when. Well, that's why I've read. They said that when you walked across the grass or across the bog, that there was a trembling when you stood on it, like it kind of shook under your feet. So it was almost as if there was water under the top layer and you feel it. Not only did it take out houses it took out whole fields so it was all just kind of being brought toppled in onto itself and then projecting further and further down with all this weight behind it it also took out a bridge which was a bridge on the way into Killarney and it was said that a limestone quarry in the area belonging to the Earl of Kenmare who was the largest landowner in the district his limestone quarry was completely filled in by the bog making it unusable and a man called Cornelius Donnelly who worked with Lord Kenmare or Earl of Kenmare. Him and his family in their dwelling were completely overwhelmed by the moving bog and the whole house including all family members bar one were taken in the path of the bog and unfortunately died. The sole survivor of the bog was a young girl called Katie Donnelly who was only 10 but she's the only human survivor. There was also a dog that was owned by the Donnelly family who apparently sensed the danger and bolted. Hashtag disloyal. And that was it. It wasn't a very in-depth one, but I thought it was just interesting. And on the this photography page, I'll link it down below, it just has really interesting pictures of different areas in Ireland and a little bit about some of the histories behind the areas and the things they're talking about. Pictures of Ireland is the Facebook handle. And I came across, it was like a big rock they've taken a picture of. It was like a plaque sort of thing. It was the site of the Donnelly home, swept away by the moving bog. I never learned very much about Irish history in school, so be pushing for more on this channel. This is Irish history. Like and subscribe if you want because no pressure. I'd love you if you did. Bye!